Jen Powder, and I'm a weight loss and fitness expert. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. What we're gonna be talking about is how being lid lazy, bag lazy, or counter lazy can totally, totally sabotage any of the weight loss efforts that you're making. So I can say that this is really how I love my kitchen to look. The counters are clean, it's easy to work in, but as a working and busy mom of two, I have to say, they don't always stay this way. It's pretty easy throughout the day or throughout the week to have an accumulation of not only just papers and mess, but also containers of food or bags of food that get left on your counters too. So like most moms, I love to bake with my kids. It's fun, we make healthy things, but often what ends up happening is it's left on the counter. And when it's left on the counter, I see it. I get to see it every day or every aspect throughout my day as I'm making lunches and getting snacks ready. The problem with that is it becomes really easy to come over and even out the banana loaf just a little, take a muffin or two and have those without even really realizing it or grabbing little tiny handfuls of what seems like healthy food along the way and all of those little portions add up. So another bad habit we can fall into is when we're actually bag lazy and this happens most often in the pantries. What it looks like is when we have all of this good food in here but we don't actually seal or close the box or the bag. And the problem with that is, is the minute that you open your pantry or you walk into yours, you can quickly just grab a couple of handfuls of something and not even really pay attention to the fact that you're about to eat it. One of the last kind of bad habits we can develop is being lid lazy in our kitchens. What that looks like is when we don't actually put the tops back onto the jars, meaning that we can walk along, quickly take our spoon, dip it into the peanut butter, and take a spoonful. All right, so the problem with taking little handfuls throughout a day is that it's really hard to gauge how much you've actually consumed because at just one particular little grab of something, it just doesn't seem like that much. But as you can see, in a day, what you saw me just consume by the handfuls is right here on this plate. That's pretty much the same to me eating nine pieces of bread, or roughly around 900 extra calories throughout a day that I didn't even really know I'd actually eaten. So if weight loss is your goal, my three best tips for you are to keep your counters clean. When food is out of sight, it's a lot more out of mind and therefore easier to not take those extra bites. Two, in your pantries, close those bags and seal up everything you can so you don't have easy access. Three, make sure the lids in your fridge are actually screwed on tight so that the temptation to grab that spoon and that spoonful of peanut butter just isn't there for you. These three tips could mean the difference between you staying stuck at a weight loss plateau and actually losing those unwanted pounds you don't want to carry around with you anymore. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe because I'll be coming back next week with more fitness, health and nutrition tips for you. See you soon.